Hi friends, it is Sam. It is week eight of our summer faith development classes and we are talking about principle number seven today. So um, principle seven is a respect for the interdependent web of all existence for which we are a part. Or for us kids to understand it means we believe in caring for our planet earth and every living thing that shares it with us. So this last one in pink. Um, basically means that we are all beings of this earth, human, plant, or animal. We are all connected to one another, so we need to act in ways that care for our planet, care for earth, and everything that lives here with us, because we depend on a lot of stuff on this planet. We need plants and animals for food. We need them for shelter, um, clothing, and if we don't take care of them, then we won't have those things. Um, plus, nature is just really awesome, and we should take care of our green spaces because I know for me, I find a lot of awe-inspiring things. I love the beauty of the natural world. Um, I love to learn about it, and I think the more we learn, the more we care for it. Um, that is why I am going to read a quick segment out of my Backyard Almanac. So this is a book by Larry Weber. He's an author from Northern Minnesota. He wrote this book and every day has a different fact about some aspect in nature. So you can read a different fact, a short paragraph throughout the whole year. So since it's August 11th, I'm gonna read the August 11th. There's usually a little drawing. Um, and if you remember, I sent a couple weeks ago, I found this huge green caterpillar that I sent a picture of with my email for the lessons of that week. And that caterpillar was um, sometimes known as a hornworm or a tomato worm. Um, and it so happens that today, August 11th, this entry for the Backyard Almanac is about those caterpillars. So it says, we know most adult butterflies better than we do their larvae or caterpillars. But the converse is true of moths. The larvae are better known. Those sphinx moths are large and easily seen as they feed on flowers. Their caterpillars have given them their name. The large fat green worms, often called tomato or hornworms, are young sphinx moths. Typically, they have a horn or a spine on their rear end, and though it is harmless, many expect it to sting. When in danger, the caterpillar raises up its head and arches its body in a sphinx-like pose. The large horned larvae are usually left alone as they feed on leaves. About a hundred species of sphinx moths live in North America. One of the Northland's most common, the great ash or penmark sphinx, feeds on green ash or lilac in its larval stage. We may encounter these large green worms in yards or parks where there are lots of trees. Adult sphinx moths have gray bodies with narrow wings, black wavy streaks on the larger forewing and color pattern on the smaller hindwing. Adults may be called hawk or hummingbird moths because they use their long coiled tongue to sip flower nectar in the evenings. Many people, myself included, have mistaken these sphinx moths for hummingbirds, but they're not. They are just big bugs, big moths that look like hummingbirds. So it's pretty neat. Um, this is a cool book. You can maybe find one at the library. I know Corey Hill has this book on display because they turn the page every day when the Nature Center is open. Um, but I think, you know, my advice to all of you is learn more about nature because then you will care more about nature. I have a few more things, a couple more videos that you can watch and activities to do. I hope you guys have a great week. Thanks, bye.